Welcome to this Bonita camp. We continue with the fifth chapter on data management. I remind you that you can see the whole camp series in our YouTube channel and get the Bonita camp exercises and resources from GitHub so you can train on your own. In this chapter, I will talk about the different types of data, their use, and in particular, the modeling of business data. Let's start with a description of the different types of data. Bonita manages two types of data, process and business data. Process data can be local variables, parameters, documents, process variables. These types of data are specific to a process, a case or even a task and are mainly used to manage and retrieve temporary data. Business data, though, can be dedicated to a process or shared between processes through the business data model. What is the business data model and how does it work? The BDM, business data model, stores business data related to process instances and or applications in a business database. The BDM is a set of business objects and attributes that is defined in Bonita Studio. Out of this model, Bonita is going to create structured objects composed of Java classes, integer, boolean, string, data, etc. And they are stored in a dedicated database with automatic administration where you are going to create the table that updates them, etc. Again, we recommend to use a transactional database as it guarantees that data is safely kept in case of servers shut down. H2 database is embedded in Bonita, but for testing period, per purpose only, and you should not use it in a runtime environment. After defining the BDM, you will have to declare business variable in the process definition to be able to use them in your application or your process. Those variables are created, read, updated or deleted during the process flow with default values, definition, operations, connectors or APIs. Business variables lifecycle is independent of the lifecycle of the process instance. The data can be updated by several processes. As we have already seen in Chapter 2, Bonita is based on a multi-layer architecture which helps with the decoupling of business logic with user interfaces and processes. We call it an MVC architecture where the model is represented by the business data model, the view is the combination of application and pages, and a group of processes are here to control. The BDM and another concept called contract are key to ensure consistency between each layer of its architecture and control the data cycle. To understand better the communication between process and user interface, let's have a look at the data cycle with the business data life cycle. As you can see on this graphic, business variables are initialized from the BDM and forms can be automatically created based on those data, but they have to be first validated by the contract. Data is sent from the process forms and the output data is updated through the business variables in the business database and used in the process. As you can see, the contract helps automating the initialization and update of forms. But what is contract? Contracts are used to ensure consistency between the data expected by the process and the user interface. The contract is a set of required inputs and validation rules used to start a process instance or execute a human's task. An invalid contract will prevent Bonita Engine from performing those actions. Contracts help with the automation in Bonita UI Designer, but in case you want to use your own forms, the contract is the interface that guarantees the right execution. At contracts definition, required inputs and constraints are going to be defined in Bonita Studio. Some of the constraints are automatically set up based on the business data model configuration and those constraints are defined by Groovy scripts. Of course, you can add as many constraints as you need. Now, 
that you understand how data is managed in Bonita, let's have a closer look at advanced concepts to help you develop with the Bonita business data model. You can manage complex types of objects and relationships in a BDM based on composition and aggregation. To better understand the difference between composition and aggregation, we are going to take an example based on three objects. Customer, invoice and invoice line. Aggregation will allow you to link two existing objects in the BDM. For example, if you need to create an invoice for your customer, the list of customers already exists. There is no dependency between the object invoice and the object customer and using an aggregation will allow you to have direct access to the object customer to select it in your invoice. On the contrary, using composition as a relationship implies a dependency between the objects. In our example, Data from the object invoice line does not exist until it's fulfilled in the form. All invoice lines added are going to belong to a specific invoice, therefore a relation is defined between invoice and invoice line object and this relation is a composition. You can also specify a unique constraint for an attribute to require that every value of the attribute is unique. This means that you can use this attribute in data queries knowing that it is not possible for two entries to have the same value. JPQL's queries are used to get information about data objects stored in the database. A set of default queries is defined automatically for each object in the BDM. The default queries are fine and fine by queries. You can also create custom queries by using the query tab of the expression editor to write a query script. You can refer to default queries as an example. Indexes also are important for performance as using them helps reduce the response time. The BDM is also accessible by REST API if an integration is needed with a third party application or for application pages. Never try to read or write data directly from the BDM database. Use the API to do so, as we have already explained it in Chapter 2. Data persistence is handled by Bonita using the Hibernate library and the database. Depending on the volume of data handled by the processes and the complexity of the model, performance can be impacted. That's why there are two ways of loading data in Bonita lazy and eager. Bonita Engine is going to perform several calls depending on the data that needs to be loaded and displayed. With lazy loading, the parent object instance is loaded. To load the children object instances, additional REST API calls are made. This is the option that you are going to choose when the object's children are not edited very often in the case's lifetime and the parent object along with it, all its children can get big, vertically and horizontally. With eager loading, the parent object instance and the children object instance are loaded at the same time. This is the option to choose when the object's children can be edited quite often in the case's lifetime. The parent object along with all its children are neither deep nor large. As it is not easy to choose the correct loading mode, the default mode is lazy. Before we move on to the next chapter, let me tell you quickly about two other data types, forms data and documents. Forms data are used to build user interfaces. Forms stores and processes data displayed and updated in the user interface which can be the result of user's input, JavaScript code, or a REST API call. As it is acceptable in the user browser, this is a local data which is not persisted, and any type of JavaScript object is used. The schema describes the flow of this type of data from the form to the business variable. When the user enters some data into a form, it is first stored in the JavaScript variable. When the user clicks on the submit button, 
a REST call is made to the NGAPI to start a new process instance or execute a task. This call carries the value of a JavaScript variable associated with the submit button. The REST API call is an HTTP request that executes the data as JSON. The engine will verify that the JSON data receives matches the contract definition and the validation rules. If it matches, the data is now stored in a business variable. This data will be used at the default value of a business variable. This will create a new row in the business database in the business database or the value of the data will be updated via an operation which will perform an update SQL request in the business database. The second type of data I wanted to introduce are documents. A document is a structured set of independent information that is attached to a process instance. It is created and updated by a tool that is not part of the process. However, references to documents are part of the process definition. Bonita provides a simple and basic document management system supporting file versions, but you can use content management systems such as SharePoint or Fresco, for example, integrated with Bonita through connectors. At runtime documents, can be initialized and updated like any other data. Unlike BDM, documents are associated with a given process instance. The chapter is now finished and you should be able to understand all the mechanisms around data management. Let's continue with the next chapter about user interface and forms. Again, don't forget that you can practice with the exercises available on our repository GitHub. And if you want to know more about document uh, management and integration, you can have a, a look at the live demo uh, about the integration between Bonita and SharePoint. Thank you.